right now with an email marketing campaign. Add a new pic. Nice. I love it. Wow. It turned out great. Go to Wix.com. Create your own professional website today.
What are six different ways to earn money live streaming games from Facebook gaming? While initially it might look like that there's just stars, the donations you can get sent in as a member of the Level Up Creator Program, there's actually five more ways to earn money from live streaming games on Facebook. And more than likely, these five ways will make you much more than just getting the stars themselves. Especially when all of these are combined together, I'd say you got a really good chance at doing Facebook gaming full time when you use all six of these different ways to earn money. Now, five of these take place completely on Facebook, and then I'm generically lumping in everything outside of Facebook, which you can reference and send people to from Facebook in order to make that sixth way. So therefore, we'll cover the first five, then I'll take a look and give you lots of ideas for the sixth way, how to send people off of Facebook when links and in talking about things during your descriptions of the videos, etc., in order to earn on that sixth way. Let's get right into it with the number one way, obviously, that we know about is to just have stars on our Level Up Gaming Creator page. Therefore, you just keep doing live streams. You are in the Level Up Gaming Creator program. And the more live streams you do, the more people follow you, then you can get stars donated live during your streams. Now, obviously, the more people you can reach, the bigger your community is, the better chance you have to get stars. Now, I'll go over here and you've actually got two different ways to get stars, which is really cool. Now, the ideal way to get stars is to have Facebook generate them and give them for free to your viewers. The more viewers you have watching that watch for longer periods of times and engage with the stream, the more Facebook will just drop free stars to the viewers. These tiers reflect what quality of drops you get, and these are based on how often you stream. Therefore, the number one, one way to earn on Facebook is to simply have Facebook give money to your viewers that then the viewers give to you. Now, the second way you can get stars, and I'm calling this the second way because this is very different from the users point of view. If I'm watching a stream and Facebook just gives me stars to give to you, I don't have to pay anything. That's a world of difference versus the second way to get stars. The second way to get stars is to actually buy them. And the nice thing is when you combine the free stars with the paid stars, lots of times the free star donations, the free star contributions where Facebook gave a viewer stars to give to you, then uh, that'll often trigger people to buy stars when you've got the alert set up and then give those in additionally. It's a feedback loop. The free stars trigger paid stars. The more paid stars you get, the higher Facebook imagines that your stream is in quality. If someone's going to pay for stars on your stream, that's a big signal to Facebook that, wow, this stream is really good. People are spending money to donate. Therefore, we probably want more people to see this stream and therefore it's a feedback loop the more paid stars you get the more it can trigger off people to want to watch and to buy stars themselves the more people watch the more free stars that come in the more free stars the more paid stars therefore those two ways people contribute stars are very powerful and i'm grateful i've earned over a hundred dollars worth in one single live stream myself from the paid and the free stars combined and uh, I'm certain that I've been able to do it, you can do it also. Now these at the first might seem like the only things you can do, but there's actually four more things that you can combine with stars to make a lot more money. What we'll do currently is I'll show the one that I think has the very greatest potential, although it's not technically available to most streamers yet. I know Facebook wants to get this out to as many people as possible because this one will be probably the number one generator of income for Facebook in gaming, and that is supporters. 
supporters pay monthly to subscribe to a channel and when Facebook introduces ad breaks into live videos, which I'm sure they are in the process of working on also, that'll be another way to make money. But supporters, to me, are the number one way to earn as a streamer because you get people paying like $5 a month to get an optimized viewer experience, which often might include no ads if it's like Twitch or YouTube. It has special perks for the viewers. It gives the viewers a specific badge. And then each streamer can set additional things, for example, supporter only Saturdays or additional benefits that are only available for being a supporter. The ideal revenue system for a business is also that subscription model generally because you have predictable and regular income coming in every month. You know exactly what you're going to get with subscribers minus churn or the amount of people that cancel plus the amount of new people you get. I, as an entrepreneur online having a business, you really want that subscription income. It's absolutely outstanding for consistency and it's one of those laziness things. People subscribe and then can end up staying for months. I do it. I'm on Twitch. I subscribe to people. I haven't even watched their channel in a month or two and I'm still supporting them, still giving them money every month automatically. Facebook, I'm certain, wants to roll this out as soon as it can possibly do so. So this to me, while it may not be available yet to most creators, I'm imagining this may get watched for years from now. It'll probably be available shortly after you watch this or it may be available already. I am very excited about those supporters because if you've got a community of a few hundred people that love watching, that might not equal that many people watching every single stream, but you get a few hundred supporters, and that by itself is hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars a month in income just from supporters. So I see supporters as being the number one way in the long term to earn money gaming on Facebook, although it's not currently available yet. Now, if you combine those two ways to get stars plus the supporter alerts, that's three different ways to make money on Facebook. Let's go over. There's another one that's not very obvious at all. And as a matter of fact, you need to set up the business manager. But this one can be a sleeping giant because if you ever get a viral video with this, you could earn thousands of dollars on one single viral video using ad breaks. Ad breaks are available. I think you need to use the business manager. I'm not sure. It's You might be able to do it another way. I've got the business manager set up for my Facebook page and I've got access to ad breaks. Ad breaks means that, for example, I put this seven minute video out today. This video then has an ad break come in around three minutes on it. That means that people watch the video, I get to earn ad revenue on people watching the video. If you're making highlight videos of your best gaming moments, let's say I did the one that I've made that's earned the best so far, I simply very quickly in Final Cut Pro, I took the 20 something minute game, the first win I got playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout, took the whole game, uploaded that as a video. That was the best 30 minutes of maybe 15 hours of stream I did. That one video got good reactions, likes, shares, and it got a, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about the specific revenue according to the agreement. That video, I'm very happy with the money it earned on one video. Now that video, if you, you can go find it if you want to, it's right on the top of my page actually. You can see how many people watched it. 18 comments, 10,000 views. A video like that could easily go viral, especially with repeated attempts. You just keep doing it over and over and over again. You keep on making videos. You get one video that goes viral and gets a few million views, you could easily earn thousands of dollars on one single video and it might only be a 10 minute video of your best game on something or it could be a 10 minute highlight reel this ad break access in the creator studio is a sleeping giant 
when you do a few live streams every day, put highlight videos up every time, you could easily be earning more in ad break income than in stars. It could even be comparable to supporter alerts. And this, when you start combining all of these together, you are starting to see that this is easily full-time income when you put the time into it. When you do 30 hours a week streaming, when you get up edited video clips of highlights, when you build relationships with viewers who then become supporters, then you've got a fantastic opportunity to make a full-time income live streaming games on Facebook. That gives us the first four ways all of which are completely on Facebook. None of these require anything to be done off of Facebook. What we will do, we'll split the other two ways in. Technically, there's five ways that are on Facebook, and I just said six for simplicity, because I imagine Facebook is going to introduce the ability soon to drop ad breaks in live videos. And at the rate the ad breaks are paying, if you've got a few hundred people watching a live video and you can drop a few ad breaks in it while you're live, that could make as much or more income than star donations also. Technically, this one is not even available that I've seen and it's not even in the supporter alerts. So you can count that as the fifth one if you want to. But then uh, I've got, then the sixth way will lump in all the ways that are not on Facebook to essentially you get your audience, the people that are watching you on Facebook, and then what you do is you make preferably one or a few links send off of Facebook, then you've got products, services, and anything else you can sell there where you can make additional money. And that's where I actually currently earn most of my income. And all of that starts with having an audience. So Facebook gaming is the best I'm seeing right now for building an audience. And then once you've got an audience that loves what you do, an audience will find all kinds of additional ways to buy products, listen to music, whatever it is. So those are the five ways on completely on Facebook that you can make money without even having to leave Facebook. And next we'll cover the ways you can make money by sending people off of Facebook, which obviously starts on Facebook, but then you have to ask someone to go off of Facebook to finish it. How do we set OBS up or open broadcaster software to get the very best experience for our viewers on Facebook Live Gaming? If you'd like to see how to do that, we please watch and enjoy this because this might help you get a higher quality stream and uh, this might save you some time setting this up yourself. I've been doing this, things like this online for a lot of years. It took me about three or four hours to get all of this set up and I'm hoping this will help you do it in the same time or faster. I was using another live streaming software before, which I'm using now to record this while I've got OBS in the background. I highly recommend use OBS because it's free and it works really well with Facebook gaming. What you can see to, to begin with, you might wanna know, okay, where do I download it? What is it? It's OBS Studios, the software. You can get it on Windows, Mac, or Linux. It's free and open source. There's tons of updates all the time. There's tons of plugins. There's tons of tutorials and guides. And uh, I'll give you everything that I think is critical to get started with on here. It works really well for multiple streaming destinations. And I am just loving using OBS here. What I've got also is I've got an Elgato Stream Deck that controls my OBS so I can just move shots around really quickly on it. It's so helpful. For example, I can just move over like that to move it over here, move it over like that and change it back very quickly just by hitting buttons on OBS. I can move my face all around on the stream really quick. It's so nice. How do we get started in OBS? First, to get started in OBS, you want to take a look. There's the start streaming, start recording, studio mode settings, exit, 
And then you've got the two different microphones I put in. First, my talking microphone is on top. Then I've got the game audio on the bottom, which I've turned down if the game is a little loud so that my voice clearly goes over it. Then you've got your sources over here and your scenes. So your scenes are, and there's no, there's black right now because I'm not playing a game on the background. Your scenes are your arrangement of sources. That means, for example, I've got this follow page set up over here so that whenever there's a drop in the action on my stream, or let's say a game ends and all of a sudden there's 500 people watching, then I just punch the follow button real quick and I tell people how to set up all this to make sure to see my stream. Say, hey, will you please hit that follow button? This helps people to know what they need to do in order to make sure to see all your streams. And this is a nice way to ask for follows. So I've got this on. This is one scene. Then all the rest of my scenes are basically just different moves with me around the screen. So I've got all these different positions in OBS for my scenes. And that way, no matter what's going on with the game, I can put my game in the specific section. So I've got five different scenes, plus then I've got one follow one. The one follow one is great. Also, if let's say something suddenly happens and I need to take a quick break, I, you can also set up additional ones of these to even play videos and uh, to, uh, now you don't want to make a significant portion of your stream pre-recorded content. But if, let's say, you need to be right back or something like that, you could hit, hit that really quickly. I recommend having your face in the upper right seems to be an ideal spot for most games. Upper left, if you go over the upper left side, then you've also got the Facebook Live. Now what you just see triggered off on my channel, I've got a Stream Labs hook in on one of my sources that whenever someone subscribes on YouTube or follows on Twitch or makes a donation, it then pops up in the middle of the streams. But most importantly for gaming on Facebook, you want this Facebook alerts URL. This is the most critical thing to set up in order to get your streams. If you want your streams to have a good shot at going viral, you really need this Facebook alerts set up and here's how you do it so you what you do you just add a source in here i'll show you how to add one from scratch you go over here add a source you hit browser and what you do you can just create a new source i recommend call it facebook alerts or something like that you hit browser then you hit okay then what you need to do in here is put the url in that you get from Facebook and size it however you want it. So on Facebook, you've got a URL that you get on the alerts tab. So if you go over to your alerts tab on Facebook and you click on the gear, it'll give you the alert pop-up URL. You'll get that alert pop-up URL. And I expect I could probably show you that real quickly here. So if I tab over to Chrome, I go over here to Facebook Gaming, and we'll just blank this layer real quick. You never know. I don't want to show any of my personal information on here. So you just go over here and bring that up. Go over to your gaming. It's at Facebook slash streamer. Where is that? I had a, I had a thing for that. I have a, a download. Here's If you need the URL... This is the URL for it, right here. So you're at facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer. This is where you go to get this. Then what you do, you go over in your gaming streamer, you click on this gear button, then you go to the alert pop-up over here. This is absolutely critical if you want to get your streams to go viral because what happens one person will share it then the alert will pop up on the screen and then someone else will see that alert and share it just because they want that alert to pop up then 
uh, two people seeing that two people shared. Wow, this is really good. I'll share too. Then the third share happens because of the first two. Then the fourth, I've had a hundred shares in a row happen because of these alert pop-ups. Before I used the alert pop-ups, I had a fraction of the shares on my stream. And now thanks to the alert pop-ups, what you'll often see is a string of shares all at once. And this happened to me on one stream. I got $100 of stars that stream. Same thing happened. The alert pop up. Someone wanted to one up another donator. They dropped a bigger star. They dropped a bigger one and a bigger one. So what you do, you get this URL out of the alert pop up. You grab that URL and then you take that URL and you put that in your browser source. You drop the URL right in here in your browser source. Now you also need to size this exactly how you want it. You can see on mine, I've sized it 480 by 270. And then I've got it in the 480 by 270 because it fits nicely in that little box. Then it crams the whole alert in that one little box. And then if you've got my camera on me in the upper right, if you've got the camera on in the upper right, the alert box will pop up just right with that camera in the upper right. So I got my alerts in the upper left. I've got my face in the upper right, then the game stuff can go on in the middle. Now, one of the challenging things I had to Google for this, when you actually go to put it up there, you will need to interact with it. So there's this little option, this little tiny option called interact. And you'll need to interact in order to log in. Now, if you've got a really long secure Facebook password like I do, this took like five minutes to go through and put my login in here. But once you've put the login in, because when you put, first put your URL up, it'll tell you to log in. Then you put your URL up, you hit interact in here, then you log in, then it'll look correct. So I'm going to delete this browser source I just added. Then what'll happen, nothing will show on here until you get a star alert, and then this is what happens. So I'll. You can go over on your, you can go test a star alert to make sure you've got it set up correctly. Props to Facebook for getting this little test alert. And you can't do this while you're live to fake stars. So you click test star alert. Now look what happens. Look how amazing that is. See, then you get that little star alert up there. And then that often triggers people off to want to give more stars. And it pops up that little sound just like that so people know get used to hearing that that's a star alert and then even something like a free star drop can pop up up here and time or faster i was using another live streaming software before which i'm using now to record this while i've got ob streaming so see how to do that we please watch and enjoy this because this might help you get a higher quality stream and uh, this might save you some time setting this up yourself i've been doing this things like this online for a lot of years it took me about three or four hours to or faster i was using another live streaming software in the background of facebook everything that i think streaming what i've got for example, move my over it your scenes are your arrangement of sources that means for example i've got this follow page set up over here 